guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nikki marie back with another video so today i'm gonna take you guys through a day in the life of a postal worker so let's not waste any time and get into this video So it is 7 17 in the morning I'm in the car warming up the car and I just want to give you guys a little bit of details my start time at my station is 8 o'clock in the morning I am an RCA I work out of Maryland I have been doing this for about 17 months now and I also have previous experience as a city carrier a CCA I became regular after about a year and a half and I did it for probably another six months until I left and and then about two years later, I came back as an RCA. My experience with the RCA position has been so much better than the CCA position and I've been loving it like way more. So as an RCA, basically that means that I fill in for the regulars when they're off. So you technically have like three routes that you fill in for mostly, but for me, since I know all the routes now and even early on, they pretty much just put me on any route because they, they knew of my my experience that I had as a city carrier so I pretty much learned all the routes I've done all of them at least once so it's easy for them to use me on any route but today the route that I'm filling in for I haven't been on it in a long time but I was on it yesterday and I'm on it again today it's basically a combination of mounted which is where you drive up to the box and deliver the mail and then it also has cluster boxes on it so those are just the boxes that you walk up to so yeah let's get started started let's go really want to get into the real the raw of what it really means to be a mail carrier because I feel like a lot of people that come into the post office are pretty shocked when they find out what it is that we actually have to do to deliver mail you might think that the mail carrier job is easy you see your mail carrier delivering your mail and they might be walking leisurely and you might just think oh wow that job it looks easy I could do that but truth is there's a lot more behind the scenes that goes on that a lot of people really don't know about and I hope to show you guys that in this video for those of you who are thinking about becoming a mail carrier there's just more to it and I want to show you that in this video today so right when I come to work I just kind of come in put my coffee down put my book back down here I honestly don't know what I was looking for I think I was looking for my brain but basically I go up to what's called the hot case and I grab the loose mail I grab the FSS and I always start with the FSS so that's what I'm doing here now as far as casing there's many different ways to do this the method I prefer to use is the taco method so basically you kind of fold up the magazines in large envelopes and you stick them in the case so that you can put the letters inside. So that's why it's called the taco method. Yes? So at that point, that was my postmaster calling me. So I went over to the supervisor's desk and talked to her, came back and continued to put up my FSS. Now once I'm done the FSS, I move on to the loose mail. So that's everything that's mixed up for your route. So they're not in any order. You just have to find the address and put them where they need to go. So for those who don't know, this is called the case. It is a case for your route. It has all the addresses that you're going to be delivering to. It's in order. My route starts from the bottom and goes to the top. 
there's five sections of cases so this part on the case is there's five of those I was literally struggling to see this address. Like sometimes you get letters where you can't see the whole address and if you kind of tap the letter, it will come down. But I was just struggling to get this one to come down, but eventually I got it. So I had a certified letter and what I like to do with those, the ones that have return receipts on them, is write those up before I leave the office and just put them in where they have to go. That way once I get there, if the person is not home, I can just leave notice a lot quicker. So that's what I'm doing here. So now we have moved on to case and the DPS, which are the letters. What I like to do with my letters is I like to have the biggest one in the back, the smallest one in the front. So that's what you see me doing here. So at this point, my postmaster came and said that we should help one of the new guys try to get out of the office quicker. So after this little scene, I went and helped him out for a bit, get his mail together, and then I came back and continued with casing my DPS. So after I case up all my DPS, I go to the hot case, grab that one more time, and then I go and grab my parcels. Now, some people, they use parcel markers to mark where they have packages at. I did that when I first started. I don't do that anymore. I number my packages. How I number my packages is basically one through six. So this route has six rows going up. And if I have one on the bottom row, it'll be number one. If I have one on the top, it'll be number six. So that box that I had was a number six at the end of my route. Here, I'm just putting up the last few letters that I got from the hot case. And then we're moving on to putting the SPRs in order. Now the SPRs is just all the small packages that have barcodes on them. So what I'm doing here is just separating them by sections. I just got out four trays and I'm just separating them. So now I just bring them over into the case so that I don't have to bend over and I start to put them in order. So you're basically putting them in order based on the route, how the route goes. Since I know the route, it's a lot easier for me to do this. When you're first starting out, it might be a little bit difficult, but you can just look at the case and do it that way. Some other people actually case it in with the mail and then pull it down and put it on a tray. I personally just don't like doing all that. And plus I've been doing it for a while now, so I kind of got the hang of it. Now we are moving on to pulling down our route. So some people pull down their route backwards. Actually, a lot of my coworkers pull down the route backwards. Me personally, I like to pull from the front since I do the taco method. It really doesn't make a difference, but I just like pulling from the front. So that's what we're doing, pulling down this route. 
So as I'm finishing up pulling down my route, I just want to tell you guys that a lot of these clips are sped up. The casing process takes hours. Sometimes it could be two hours. Sometimes it could be four hours, even six hours. So this day I came in at eight and I left at about 11.30. So it took me about three and a half hours to get all my mail together. It just really depends on the mail volume and the package volume. But today is pretty light. So that's why I got it done a lot quicker. Minus the time that I spent helping my other their co-worker. So here we have it, all of our mail for today. I had three trays of SPRs and I had three and a half trays of DPS and a whole tub full of packages. Now we're moving on to loading up. So I always put in my SPRs and my DPS first, and then I move on to the packages. So when I load up my packages, there are numbers inside the truck. So I usually don't really go by the numbers inside a truck. I just put mine where I need them to go because I already know the route and I just kind of do it like that. My first section, I put that in the front and the second section, I put them like where my SPRs are. And then I just put the other stuff like my end of my route, put it all the way in. Sorry about that. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. You didn't have any oh, mail for today. No. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. I'll say this. This is not my favorite route. Too many cars parked on the street. My small stuff, I did not mark any of them because I never do because it's just a waste of time to me. This guy's mail I didn't deliver yesterday because he's blocking the box. Literally, the car is right in front of the mailbox. So, I am at my first booster box. Let's see. So with the clusters, I pull them down together when they're next to each other because it's just easier like that instead of separating. Since you know the numbers, like you just pull them down together, so.
All right, you guys, so I'm at my last little bit of mounted that I have on the route. It is 2.15, so I'm gonna get done really early. Probably be done in like 45 minutes. So, yeah. We finished this bit up. It's not much. Packages were late today. Also, the mail was late today, so yeah. Let me get this done, and then I'll be back. All right, you guys, so. I am done for the day, it's 3 o'clock, I'm headed to the gas station so I can fill up the tank and then head back and sort everything that I have, the outgoing mail, return to sender stuff, and that's pretty much it for the day, so I'll see you guys when I'm done, everything. Alright you guys, so I'm officially done for the day, it's 3.33, it was a good day, light not always like that thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys have any comments or questions maybe something that you thought i left out of this video leave it down below in the comments and i will try to get back to you and yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.